Hi all, it's uh, Danny Cutts here. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about a very controversial uh, piece of software. Um, it is a Scrapebox. Um, it is some deem as very dark, black hat type of software, um, and others who are white hat SEOs like myself um, see it as an ultimate piece of white hat piece of software. However, it's very much like a gun. Depending on how, who's using it and their motive will depend on how dangerous it is. Um, I've been using it as I find it a great place to find high quality places to leave blog comments. Um, you can use it to do just just organising lists of sites. and I mean there's so many, so many different uses for it. Um, and I've decided that um, tonight I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on just one of the very easy, simple ways of using um, Scrapebox just to find those extra uh, places to leave backlinks. Okay, so um, first things first, let's get out of the way. A uh, scrape box will cost you about $97. Uh, it's a one time purchase um, and it's had hundreds of updates since uh, I bought mine in 2009. Um, it does look like a complicated piece of software and you can really get into the dark depths of. Um, of techie with it. However, I'm just going to show you a few simple ways of things that I I do um, and what and what I use um, just to help things along with link building. It's very good for local SEO. Uh, this this way I'm going to show you. Um, but there are a million and one different ways you can use your software. And so over the next coming weeks, I'll probably upload a few more videos on ways that I I, uh, I use it. Um, it's not the only tool in my arsenal. I actually own SE Nuke as well, um, which I'm not. I'm not using as much as I probably should do. Um, so all the recent Google changes and whatnot, um, it means I'm changing a little bit the way I do things and and whatnot. But still, nonetheless, you need an arsenal of automated tools just to push you along and and help you along the way. And as long as you're not leaving spam and useless nonsense on the web, you know you can make your own decision whether it's black hat or not. Me personally, I quite happily tell my client what I'm doing if I'm doing SEO client obviously work for SEO client I'll tell them exactly how I'm doing it um, so this is uh, this is Scrapebox this is it this is the whole program um, it's very simple uh, no it's not actually I'm not going to lie it, it can be quite complex um, so I'm going to try and be as uh, as uh, in depth as possible without boring you too much um, you're probably fed up hearing my voice by now already and I'm only what, nearly three minutes into this video um, so basically what you want to do is you want to bang any keywords um, so we're just going to go for the make money online um, internet marketing okay and then what you're going to do is you're just going to hit this scrape button it's keyword scraper oh hang on yeah sorry internet marketing make money online okay so this is very broad and then we're going to click uh, scrape. Okay, so this is just basically going through uh, to google.com and just going out scraping keywords relating to this search term. Okay, so it has found 129 keywords related to the industry. So just have a quick look through these. Uh, internet marketing strategies, internet marketing explained, make money online without websites. You can see they're all, all relevant. Uh, ways to make money fast. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to click the center scrape box. Okay, so these now should be in here. So they're in this side here. Now what you're going to do is you're now going to select which platforms you want to go for scrape box to go and look to see whether these keywords are relevant to. Um, you can select all these, or you can select WordPress. Um, I'm just going to select WordPress for now. Um, just WordPress. There you go. Okay, you can add your own footprints in and whatnot, but just you know, this is this is the very basics and bare crux of everything. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you can go and get your own proxies. Um, oh, you should always run it through proxies. I mean, you'll get blooming blacklisted by by Google and whatnot. Um, I used to go and buy these proxies and then I used to churn and burn them, but I actually now use something called Hide My Ass, um, and I use this for uh, everything because it just hides my computer behind some proxies rather than the software using it and whatnot it just my computer then becomes behind a proxy um, so all you're going to do is just you can select where you want it so I'm, I'm using UK proxies I am a UK guy I am based in the UK so I'll use UK proxies um, so this is just going off it's going to connect 
to thing, just give it a second, connected. Okay, so I'm just going to dump that on my other screen. Right then, uh, that cost me, to just going on that, uh, Hide My Eyes cost me about 11 bucks a month, what's what, eight, 8 English pounds? So it's not really a cost, and it does a million and one things as well. So, you know, I, I see it as a good investment. There may be better ones out there, there may not be, I don't know. I've just, the first one I've used, I'm happy with it, 8 pounds. You know, maybe find one for a couple of pounds cheaper, but this is simple to use. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to just click this button, Start Harvesting. You're trying to harvest users out using proxies, because I've not enabled proxies down here. It doesn't matter, because my computer is now behind a proxy. So yes, click Continue. So what this is now going to do, it's now going to go out, crawl the net, looking for these platforms with these keywords, and it's going to dump all these URLs in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, this can take a fair amount of time, so I'm just going to wait a second um, and just see how many it finds so it has found so far what 4,000 results okay so we'll just give it a couple more moments and then we'll just we'll just force it to stop um, so that's the Google so we're about 5,000 now so just gonna click stop there okay right so these are all the, uh, the keywords and the uh, the uh, footprints and stuff, so we're just going to close that. Okay, now these are all the places it's found uh, uh, places to leave comments on and whatnot, you know, other sites. Um, and now what I'm going to do is we're just going to go and oh, I'm going to click check the page rank. So we want to get the URL of the page rank, so that every, the, not the domain page rank, we want the URL. So this is just going to go away against, again, once again, hiding behind a proxy. And this can take quite a bit of time. Um, as you can see, these are filling out now, one, twos, NAs. And once um, once this is done, which is actually loading quite quickly, we're then going to sort these out. And we're actually only going to target the uh, URLs with a decent page rank. So I'm just going to quickly it's just pause the video, um, just while this is doing it. Otherwise, you'll just get bored of my voice. Give me one second. Okay, guys. So as you can see, this is now uh, now completed. Doing on the page ranks. So just going to click OK. And what you're going to do is you're just going to click this button here to sort it. This is now you can click it to from highest to lowest, lowest to highest. We're going to go from highest, and then we're just going to get rid of everything that's a page rank zero or less. Because we, you know, there's plenty of URLs there. So just give me one second to scroll through. So that's a zero. How many more have we got? As you can see, a lot of them are PR zeros, which is fine. It just reduces the list. So there's that one there. Go all the way to the bottom. And we just hold down your shift key. And then we're just going to remove selected URLs from list. Okay, so now every single URL in here has a page rank of one or up to five. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just go to here this add-on thing and we're just going to check the malware and phishing field. This is just to check that all these links are safe to use. And um, what we'll do is open up this screen over here and we're going to load the URLs from the harvester. So you've got all these things here and then we're just going to click start. And what this does, it's just going to go through and check that every site that hasn't got anything dodgy on it, no black holes or Trojan horses or anything anything naughty. Um, and by the looks of it, so far so good. So out of those 6,000 um, oh, uh, 6, sites, we've actually found 1,033 good sites. And there's no suspicious nonsense on there. So what we're just going to do is click Exit. OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Add-ons. And then we're going to go to the Outbound Link Checker. OK. What's this going to do is open another window, which is here. We're going to load the list again from Scrapebox. So these are all the all the uh, sites from here. All we, we all know they've got a good page rank of between one and five. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to filter these to filter entries with more than 
XXX external links. Basically, we want to remove any entry that's got more than 50 external links on the page. So basically, we don't want to be potentially blogging, commenting, or leaving responses on a site that has more than 50 external links. You can reduce this down, you can increase this. This is my personal preference because I always use due diligence when I comment on a page anyway. And what I'm going to do is just click OK and then click Start. Sometimes I can never, I always do this the wrong way around. So I should have done start first and then did it, but we'll, you'll see what I mean anyway. So we're just going to let that go off and do its thing. And I'm just going to pause the video as we're, we are pushing through this video quite uh, quite quick. Okay, so we are just coming to the end of this to see how many external links. So as you can see, there's uh, on here, it's going to ping up in a minute, just one second. Okay. As you can see here, um, it's telling you how many external links are on the page. Um, it's particularly high here, 70, 63. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to filter these out now. Okay, so we're going to we we want to remove all the sites with a hundred or more external links. Okay, so let's drop the the uh, the site down now. So you can see it's all these, so no external links, no external links. Okay. So as you can see, all these all have good external links. There's a lot of internal links in here, but what we're going to we're going to come to that in the next uh, in the next video. So what we're going to do now is just click Save Results, and we're going to save to Scrape Box. Let it do its thing. Click Exit. Right. So we now have got 968 things here, and now what we're going to do is going to with this list. Uh, sorry, over here we're going to export this as a text, and we're going to call this MMO Links. Okay, I'm going to dump it on the desktop, and uh, in the next video I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these links now we've we've harvested them. Um, let's say this scrape box, if it's in the wrong hands. It is a terrible, dangerous piece of software. But if you use it in the right way and uh, in a way that I show you, you're not going to have any problems and it's going to be a hundred bucks well worth spent. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop me an email or send me a message over at dannycuss.com or leave a comment below on this video. Make sure you subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel as well. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy the videos that I have coming up for you and hopefully you're going to learn. Uh, quite a lot about my business and how I actually make an online living um, being an affiliate, full-time full affiliate marketer. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoy the video.